Make sure you stand till the end, we will explain how you can even test the camshaft position sensor that gives you that code. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo, guys. If you have any of those, you have check engine light on and code P0340. Stay with us, we will explain what causes that and how to fix it. Now, we will also explain how we can test the sensor that's giving you these codes and uh, the early stages when it starts failing, what you can experience. So make sure to stay until the end. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys into buying parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So why we mention Fiat and Alfa Romeo due to the fact that's practically owned by the same company, Chrysler Corporation now. They're built on the same platforms Alfa Romeo, Fiat, uh, some of them for instance Fiat Grande Punto and uh, Alfa Romeo Giulietta are built on the same platform. I believe the Fiat 500 and uh, Alfa Romeo Mito are very close as well. Uh, but looking at it guys, okay for instance that 1.4 gasoline engine has been used in at least five different models of Fiat cars and at least four different Alfa Romeos. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a gasoline or diesel engine. If you guys have these codes, most likely it means problems with the camshaft position sensor. So, uh, that engine specifically will have one camshaft position sensor. Okay, let me show you now. Okay, let me focus. The camshaft position sensor is right here. That's the sensor. It has only one bolt that it attaches with. We have a video how to remove it. Uh, but if you have the code what to look for, make sure the wire is not broken and it's plugged all the way in. Sometimes people will try to disconnect the camshaft sensor when they work on the car or to replace it and they will pull on the wires and they will come loose, yank them out and that will cause that problem. Another thing that can uh, cause guys, okay, the camshaft sensor uh, code will be connector not plugged in all the way and it could be uh, uh, it could be in some cases okay let me just see if I can get in here perfect uh, it, it could be contaminated connector with engine oil from leaking valve cover or coolant sometimes can cause that as well and lastly it could be a bad camshaft sensor if you want to see how to test the camshaft sensor we will have the video on the channel that will teach you how to do that step by step you can test easily the camshaft sensor when they start failing often they will start uh, going bad First, when the engine warms up and when they get warm, they will start acting up. You will get the code and the car may run really rough or even die. Now, when the engine cools off, it may start working again. And when it gets warm, it starts going bad again. So uh, those are the first signs. If you want to see how to test it, we will have the video on the channel how to test camshaft position sensor on Fiat or Alfa Romeo. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.